I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You? And today, we're going to be fixing a flat tire on a lawnmower and then fixing a flat tire on a lawnmower. Now I've got my assistant Spider-Man with me. I don't know if you guys know him, but here he is. He's going to be helping me. This issue is not lawnmower specific, but I know a lot of lawnmowers, the front tire goes flat easily. And on my mower, I've had it go flat multiple times every year. And a lot of times I can take the wheel off the mower, I can put a ratchet strap on it, tighten it down, and then fill it with air, pop the tire back on the rim, and then put it back on and keep going. And that takes five or 10 minutes. Now this is actually the first part of what I'm talking about when repairing a flat tire. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, let me show you real quick. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your mower to a spot that you can get the front off the ground to get the tires off easily. I like to pull mine onto my driveway, that way I can use my jack. And what I'm gonna do is jack the front of the mower up, take the wheels off. I like to use a ratchet strap because I always have one fairly readily available. I know that some people have said that you can use a rope or a belt to do this, but what I like to do is take the rim and tire off. You're gonna to wanna to make sure and clean the inside of the rim and the outside of the tire to make sure that there's no debris in there that's gonna keep it from popping back onto the bead properly. Hook your ratchet strap around your tire and tighten it until it squeezes the tire and pops the outer edges of it back onto the rim. At this point, obviously, you're going to need either an air compressor or a tire pump. Uh, I've got this little Pittsburgh air compressor that plugs into a 12 volt outlet uh, in the back of the car. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. Um, I think you can pick one up normally for about $35. Sometimes they'll run specials. And after you've ratcheted the tire down onto the rim, you're going to want to hook your compressor up to this and fill it up with air. Most tires will have a recommended PSI on the sidewall of the tire, so make sure and follow that. After you've gotten close to the recommended PSI, maybe not all the way, you can go ahead and pop your ratchet strap loose. And then it's as easy as putting the rims and tires back onto the mower. Here at DIY Wouldn't You, we want to inspire and educate. We want to make projects entertaining and encourage you to try something fun, learn something new, and impress yourself and your friends. We want to remind people that just because you haven't done something, it doesn't mean you can't. So keep learning, keep building, keep DIYing. After doing that a couple times a year, I started looking into a better way to do that because there's not a good way, even if you clean the gunk off the inside of the rim before you pop the tire back on, to keep this from happening. And, um, and I filled it up to the specified PSI and they just keep popping off the rim. So then the next solution is, even though this is a tubeless tire, you can cut the valve stem out, put a tube in here and inflate it and that'll keep your tire from popping off the rim. This is actually the second solution that I'm talking about and this is the more permanent one. What you're gonna do here is, again, take the wheel and tire off the lawnmower. And then you'll want to cut the old valve stem out. I just use a razor knife. I'm using a pry bar and a flathead screwdriver to pry one side of the tire off of the rim. Hello, this is Spider-Man. I don't know if you've ever met me, but I am Spider-Man. And then again, clean the inside of the wheel and the tire out to get any grass shavings and debris and stuff. Pull the tire to one side to where you can push the tube into the tire cavity. Rotate the tube around to where the valve stem lines up. And then you're going to want to put your tire back onto the rim. Being very careful not to pinch the tube between the rim and the tire as this could puncture it. And then after you've done this, inflate it with air. I like to use pliers to hold the valve stem out to make sure that it doesn't pinch the tube and then inflate it to the recommended PSI, reinstall the wheel and tire back onto the mower and you should be good to go. Overall this took me and Spider-Man about an hour to do 
to get the wheels off, pop the rims off the tires, put the tubes in, put the tires back on, inflate them, and put them back on the lawnmower. For the amount of time that that's going to save me in the long run, not having to pop those tires back on the rims and pump it back up, the hour that it took to do that was well worth it. I hope that video was helpful at all. If it is, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of fun projects coming up and we'd love to see you back. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You. See you next time.